it's Jenny at the Literal Everyday of Jenny. It's really time for me to uh, summarize the Read Your bookshelf a -thon. Uh, I'm sorry that I didn't do a update video uh, in, at half time. I didn't have time and I was a bit lazy, I think you could say. But yeah, uh, here is the uh, wrap up for this readathon. It was my first readathon and I think it was a good and fun thing to do. And I actually think it went really well, for me at least. Uh, despite uh, midsummer showing up at the, mid uh, at the end of at the middle of the week and st stuff like that. So yeah, uh, I will now show you the books and tell you a little bit about them because all of them are Swedish books that I don't think are translated into English. So I won't give you a big synopsis, but a small one, and what I thought about them. Uh, so the first book I read was this one. Uh, it's uh, Baristas All Three Parts by Denise Rudberg. Uh, it's three books in one. Uh, she wrote three books about these baristas. Uh, and yeah, uh, I read this one in three days. It's uh, 663 pages, and the book is about Ludwig, Nicholas and Ruben. They go to high school, I think, uh, the, con uh, the equivalent to um, the Swedish gymnasium. Uh, uh, so yeah, uh, they uh, start working at a coffee bar called Pronto, and that's where they sort of get to know each other and become really, really good friends. And the book is about their time. Uh, it sort of takes place during a year, almost, from the time when they start work working at a coffee bar and what happens during that year. And there is love problems, teenage problems, um, alcohol, alcohol problems and stuff like that. And there's also good things like si love between siblings, um, love and friendship and stuff like that. I really love this book. I gave it five cups of tea on my blog and five stars on Goodreads. So, if you know Swedish, read this one. It's really good. It's a YA book. So, yeah. Uh, the guys in this uh, book is 16 years old. So, yeah. Uh, 663 pages read in three days during the rib set. That was the first book. The second book I picked up, I read in one day. It's only 153 pages. And that's this cute little one. With a hippo <laughs> on the on the, the front. Um, so this book is called The Thing About Verbs uh, yeah, by Sarah, Sarah Levistan. Uh, it's a very different way of viewing verbs and grammatics, especially than were verbs. Um, and she uh, she she draws upon her experience as a uh, what's it called uh, Swedish for 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 immigrants. Uh, she's a th teacher for the uh, in that subject. So uh, she draws upon her experience as a teacher in that subject and tells us a bit about that and how she works with works with verbs in her teaching and uh, also she she talks about verbs as if they were people and yeah it's short stories about verbs and how you can explain different things and how what they do and stuff like that and it focuses on swedish verbs of course because it's a swedish book 
So yeah, I read this one in one day and it's 153 pages. So the third book I read uh, during Ribset was this one. It's called uh, Sentenced or Judged and it's written by Pascal Levalin Johansson and it's the first book in a trilogy and that trilogy is called uh, Amarji Trilogy or The Amarji Trilogy uh, Amarji is... You, you learn in the book that Amarji is a foreign word I don't know which language it is but it means uh, freedom so it's kind of nice I think um, and this book is about Lo, who's 13, she's 13, uh, Amir, his, he is 11, and Vidar, he's 12 or 13. Uh, those three children, um, uh, their mothers have been sentenced because it's, uh, they've, they've been sentenced to jail for murdering someone. Not together, but uh, they've been murdered one each, so to speak. Uh, or at least that's what it said. The children think that the mothers have been at the wrong place at the wrong time, so yeah. Uh, they end up at a foster home, uh, that's, it's a, which is a farm in the very north of Sweden, I think. Uh, it's very cold there. And that farm is called Heaven's Peace, but it's a pure hell on earth. The children are treated as slaves and beaten by the foster parents and so on and so forth so they try to escape and that's what the, this book is about and that's what this book is about. Uh, it's The genre for this book is uh, magic realism so to get this thing into the book and there is animals that act as protectors of the children. Uh, each child of those three I mentioned earlier uh, have one animal as protector. And yeah, uh, there's angels and stuff like that. And it, at the end you realize that this book really is the first one in, an, in a series or trilogy because it ends a bit iffy, <laughs> uh, but yeah, it took me half. It was a extremely slow read. It took me three days to read this, and it's only hundred and eighty pages, and it's a book for children between nine and twelve years old. Years, sorry. So yeah, um, it was a bit strange and uh, slow at the beginning. Halfway through, it got really good, so that part went way faster to read. <laughs> so yeah, I gave it a, because of the last part being so good, uh, I gave it three cups of tea on my blog and that is three stars, sorry, uh, three stars on Goodreads. So yeah, that was the third book. Then I picked up the fourth book and it's this one. It's sort of chunky but it's not that chunky to read. Uh, it, this is uh, Henrik Tam's uh, Ninja Timmy uh, Ninja Timmy and the Journey to Sensoria. It's the second book about Ninja Timmy, who's a cat uh, and lives in Elysendrium. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's a gorgeous illustrated book, as you can see. Uh, Timmy is the leader of a group of friends. Uh, which call themselves the Magic Ninjas, and they dress as ninjas. Uh, Timmy, as I said, is a cat. Uh, there's Floris, and she's a, a cat as well. Uh, Timmy's best friend is Simon, and he's a, 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 a ferret, I think, or something like that. Or weasel, maybe. Uh, and there's two pigs. Uh, they're twins uh, and brothers, uh, Jasper and Casper. Uh, so yeah, in this book uh, they get a coded message from the island Sensoria, the librarian there, who's the teacher, who's an old teacher to the magic uh, toy maker Alfred, who in which shop the magic ninjas are gathered 
and sort of stay and live. Uh, when they decode the message, it seems like the, the, the island is under siege or something like that. Uh, because the educated and the thinkers have stopped uh, thinking up new things and instead becoming apathic. Uh, don't, they don't want to do anything but maybe build towers and uh, trees and uh, herbs and... Sorry, can't remember the name, uh, the word for it. But yeah, the trees and uh, other stuff like that has died, have died. And uh, they've emptied uh, the library of books and yeah, the librarian wants to save the island. The magic ninjas build a submarine to get to the island because they need to go through tunnels and seas and yeah, stuff like that. And yeah, it's a children's book for children between six and nine, I think. So you sort of can figure out how it will end uh, at the beginning. <laughs> but yeah, I, I really love this one. I gave it four cups of tea on my blog and four stars on Goodreads. So that was the last book I finished during the readathon. But then I had some time to s time left. So I started this one. It's called Heartless by Petra Stalin. And uh, I read 38 pages in this one. But because I didn't finish it during this readathon, I will not talk more about it. It will come up on my June uh, wrap up instead. So, yeah, uh, during this lovely readathon, I finished a whole of four books. That's a lot, I think. Uh, and a to the total page count came to 1,250 pages, which is a very good and even number, I think. Uh, this was my first readathon, as I have mentioned before, I think, earlier, I mean. Uh, and it was extremely fun. Uh, it was a good uh, theme for the theme, so to speak. Uh, for the readathon because it made me get through some of the review copies because I chose that bookshelf. Uh, so yeah, it, it really got me going on reading. And what I did was I read when I was having breakfast and then I set the timer for one hour and I read through that during that hour uh, I only sat and read very concentrated. So yeah, I got, I got a lot of reading done, And uh, but then during the day it wasn't that much reading, but days, I mean. Uh, but in the evenings I read some more, so yeah, I think I did pretty good. Despite the fact that it was midsummer uh, during that period of time, <laughs> and in Sweden we celebrate it as you might have seen uh, with food and dance and so on and so forth. Uh, so yeah, it, it sort of cut into my reading time. But yeah, I really love this. So thanks Miranda, Lainey and Gary for uh, hosting and doing this readathon. Uh, I will definitely participate if it will be a round three, <laughs> so to speak. I wasn't part of round one, but this one was a blast, I think. So, yeah. Um, that, I think, is all. So, yeah. Four books read, 1250 pages read. So, yeah, I'm pleased and very happy. Uh, I hope you have a great day and I see you in my next movie. No, I see you in my next video. Bye!